This video is brought to you by TS4U IT Engineering Bootcamp. So when you're writing the automation test cases, how do you think about organizing them? Oh, that's a great question. So let's, let me step back again before answering this question. How about I tell you the journey, how I do the automation? Sure. So uh, let's go step by step. For the GUI automation, I am using the, the IntelliJ idea as the, to write the code, debug the code. And uh, in our environment, we are using two programming language. One is Java, Selenium WebDriver is the library. And another is JavaScript, that's for the, uh, the, the, the what is called Cypress. Cypress. And uh, so both we are using it. We are actually trending towards the Cypress. Why? Because I did not mention to you, our actually the development stack is Marty stack. So our front end is JavaScript, our back end is JavaScript. So our team is migrating everything to the Cypress. Why? So that we can get the benefits from the developer as well. But let me stop there. Let me continue with the automation journey. So the, in my framework, we are using the BDD. When I say we are, we are means we have a framework already, base framework is already written. It is on the GitHub and every new application need to be automated. We have to uh, download this, clone this framework and start making the changes. Let me walk you through what in this framework. It is BDD. We are using the, what is the build tools? Do you guys remember? I can't remember the, 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 the. the Maven. Maven, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so I'm using the Maven to store all the dependency and some plugin. And in my framework structure, I have the, the feature file. I have the, uh, before go to the feature part, you said how I organize. I have the, based on my three features, I have the three folder, user management, product management, review management. In this, each of the folder, I have the, the test cases for each of the UI, means the website, means the home navigation. From each of the navigation, I gave exact name of this, we call the page of the model. On this page of the model, I am storing each of the element. I am actually using the page factory. I am actually at the creating the, I get the, the base test classes and actually I inherited in my page of the model. And I create a lot of method. Why? So that I can actually call them in my actual testing. So each of the page of that model, I have the fetch factory, I have the inheritance, I have the method. How do I make the method? So based on my understanding of the, the UI, I actually make the method. Some of the method, I have a two parameters. Some of the method, I have a three parameters. Some of the method, I have the return value. Some of the method, I do not have the return value. That's how I make all the method. What are the benefits of the page of the model? So that I actually maintain update, debug, everything on the page of that model. Because we change our GUI, graphical user interface often. So when the changes happen, I come and update my page of that model so that my tests are not get affected. That's how I organize. Did I answer your question, by the way? Yes, it did.